All right, so we got a nice sunny day here. So we're probably, and we got 125 film in here. So we're probably going up to uh, at least 500th of a second. Oh boy, I just do not like this 50 millimeter lens. Good, nobody out here. Hope I can get back in. All right, so we got the Pentax K1000. You see that bad boy right there? You know it, you love it, you live it. It's a 1.7 50 millimeter lens. And uh, we've got a roll of FP4 in here. That's 125 speed, not 100, not 200, 125. So we're gonna check out this 125 and see what we come up with. A beautiful day, what is this? This is uh, the end of February and uh, close to 60 degrees in Indiana. Very unusual. Let me turn here so you can get a better view of uh, what I get to view on a daily basis. So uh, gonna take a few shots, practice shots. Not sure if we're gonna come up with anything fantastic in this photo shoot but uh, the main idea is to let you know about fp4 and i know a lot of new film shooters out there you're purchasing the k1000 and uh, you want to know what it can do it's one of the best manual cameras out there don't hesitate if you're thinking about buying one grab it and follow along with this shoot all right guys we'll see you at the end of this video then if we go up to 500th of a second it says Actually, it says it really wants to go F16. So I'm gonna go F11 so we do not underexpose. And let's see, uh, get some nice sky shots here. If I focus on the light, it says I need to be at about F11. But if I focus on the shadow down there, it says F4. So I'm gonna go 5.6 because we do not want to underexpose. Oh, I should have waited just a hair of a second not but that's okay we'll grab that one so we're trying to get this shot here it's always looked interesting to have these trailers lined up like this 250th of a second we're still at f16 so let's take this shot there we go just one shot's all we take so boy this is going to be like a huge reflection all that light so i'm trying to frame this So we're gonna get this. Oh, it's so close. Oh, I just, I do not like this 50. Oh, it's so tight. Okay, I kinda like that. Okay, I'm gonna get a shot of this. I definitely gotta go down a little bit. So we're gonna have to go to 500th of a second to get this bad boy down to about F11. And let's see, is this a good angle? I think we can make this work. I think we wanted to get that door because it's the guitar center. Okay, <clears throat> those of you that have viewed this channel before may have seen this scene. This has the meter at exactly, perfectly in line with 250th of a second F16. Here's our shot. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna get closer. I always like to get three shots of anything just to have something different. All right, so I'm gonna take this. I don't think I'm gonna be that thrilled with that shot. Oh, I like this. I like this much better. All right, here we go. Okay, I think I'm gonna like that shot. So now we've got this. Let's see, should I do something this way? I took that one against my will. All right, so we're gonna get out of this one. Okay, we'll take this shot. It's nothing spectacular, but I just wanna burn the film here. So let's grab this bad boy. And that was at uh, 5.6, oh, at F1, or one one thousandth. I think I'll go down to <laughs> five hundredth of a second. I wanted to get this shot here, but I didn't want to get those cars in the background. That sucks. I'm going to take it anyway. Here we go. This is five hundredth of a second. Five point six. And that's the last shot on the roll. So what we've got here is our Pentax K1000. I'm going to go back and get these developed and we will scan and find out what we come up with. Scanning is very important to me because I want to make sure that the film is not flimsy, curly, that sort of thing. I do not like curly film, film that kind of 
winds up on you, that sort of thing. Some films, you still have, even if you flatten them, they still, they're so thin, they'll curl up on you. We're gonna find out how this FP4 fares and uh, beautiful day out here. Got the shots, let's go back, get it developed, see what we come up with. All right, hang tight, guys.